before you are breaking or not because the number is decreasing gradually and then many people are uh, very acquainted with the uh, and and the last demonstration part it is there demonstration so uh, quickly i'll take you through five minutes uh, for the practicalities of information uh, uh, dr shalini has already talked to you about the storage the injection devices and then all of you know this but this is just a revision the in resuspension tal and inject many people get confused regarding uh, this part for the first injection of the new cloudy insulin must resuspend the insulin that's rolling the pain between your palm 10 times it's important that the pain is kept horizontal you know premix solutions are uh, suspended and then and you have to talk to your patient 10 times if you want i'll share the slides with you it's, it's something missed move the pain up and down 10 times with two positions glass ball moves from one end of the cartridge to the other that's important for making the suspension uniform uh, uh, repeat rolling and moving the pen until the liquid does appear even white the cloudy for every following injection pain up and down because 10 times liquid doesn't does appear you tighten that's that's what for the premix suspensions they have to look into not that you take out the pain and give clear insulin solutions suspense not needed so you are giving uh, a regular insulin and a single insulin not required suspended in dial always turn the dose vector select the number of units it inject and the dose can be corrected either up and down by turning the dose selector uh, in either direction the corrected dose lines up the point it's very important that you are sure of the dose and dial the correct dose see injection of the dose by pressing the push button all the way the roll lines up with the pointer is important keeping the push button fully depressed and let the needle remain under the skin for at least six seconds many people take it out till uh, the insulin is peeling out so at least for six seconds don't displace that put it under skin uh, so that the you get time for the liquid to settle down and and and, and this is uh, where the pictures are shown uh, like uh, dialing the five units uh, of the insulin between four and six it's five and then and then 24 units uh, like this and coming to the zero and putting it for the six seconds critical in the therapeutic boxes because improper use of the uh, needle as well as the pain can lead to pain bleeding many of your patients will come and tell you so blood comes out from the site bruising breaking and losing on the skin doses inaccuracy that's poor glycemic control and lipodystrophy many times you have to practice it and what i do first dose i give remember i initiate insulin i ask my nurse educator to uh, educate the patient and the first dose i deliver ask the patient to go and have the food that's you can practice because even the, your educator cannot talk better than you so if you if you are practicing that anybody from oral drug to insulin first dose you uh, give it the, the minimize pain with the insulin injection you have to talk to your patient injection use should be kept at the room temperature many times they take out from the refrigerator take it so it has to uh, be taken out little earlier skin should be dry before injecting if injection site cleaned uh, with alcohol swabs drying is equally important inject injecting in the root hairs uh, should be avoided so hair uh, has to be put into picture short needles as four five six mm with fine girls should be the needles should be inserted 90 degree to skin 
common practice people put this side that side 45 degree this eating of the insulin dose should be considered if large doses are required so uh, 60 units and above uh, giving at a site may not be very comfortable and should be injected slowly and care should be taken to completely depress the thumb button plunger uh, while injecting it press it completely it doesn't stay halfway preventing the bleeding and bruising associated the use of needle of this shorter length 12 4 or 5 mm reviewing the injection technique wherever there is issues you ask the patient to take inject in front of you maybe with the placebo avoidance of bleeding and bruising sites completely and lesser frequency of the bleeding bruising is reported with the use of needles of shorter length and and the right way to administer insulin sites uh, we we talked about uh, dr Prabin talked about the uh, speed of the absorption the, the ideal side is the abdomen you can tell uh, to divide it in four quadrants and re rotate one two, four uh, thigh the outer sides protecting the neurovascular bundle can be taken the gluteal area the buttocks the arms the, and then these are the sites the anterior abdomen is the most preferred site for the insulin administrations and the rotation of the injection sites uh, you, you know that uh, if you're starting you're you, you, you're starting from here around around and then the you can rotate in the cough pattern as well this cross pattern as well zigzag pattern as well so the different uh, divisions at the thigh at the, at the, at the uh, abdomen the arm rotation of injection sites prevents lipohypertrophy and they optimizes the insulin absorption even many doctors are not sure of this uh, so this has to be if you are not talking to the patient that you can display uh, in your uh, television uh, or, or the uh, monitor or the uh, wall and avoiding the reuse of the needle and the syringe is very important people forget at times they keep on taking the injection day in and day out and they don't exchange the needles and then in the other countries they they, they uh, after a single dose they ask to change the needle the adverse consequence of reuse of needles and syringe you can see the needle has been uh, used six times and what is the state of the needle the new needle uh, is used once it has been used twice it has used six times our patient hardly changed once in a week if they are taking multiple doses a day and, and what will happen to the needle you can see uh, the the the, the uh, enlarged picture the reuse of needle it results in more painful injections bleeding squeezing so ask once uh, as frequently as they can it should be changed the right way to administer insulin uh, uh, when to lift a, a, a skin fold see this is arm uh, thigh abdomen and buttocks the different fat levels are different so every skin thickness extends from 1.9 to 2.4 mm Respective the age, body habitus, and the gender, insulin needles between four and six mm needles can be used subcutaneous insulin administration without the needle for a lifted, infold approach prior to injections. That has been shown that this is subcutaneous fit different parts of the body. Many people uh, punch it and lift it, which uh, may not be required. So storage, uh, ma'am has already told the temperature two to eight. And, and in, in the refrigerator, uh, do not store in the freezer. And then below zero degree may lead to uh, being frozen, causing cracking of the vials, cartridges, and this, the plunger in the cartridges. So all of which cause the product to become homogeneous and non-sterile. In cartridge and pen that are currently in temperature or less than 30 degrees centigrade can also be put. And temperature during transportation, many people travel. You ensure that your patient has an insulin carrying bag with a uh, ice pack. The risk of freezing insulin products must be minimized during the transportation. Stored in the insulated bag or the cooled uh, thermo glass, the ice, the ambient temperature is expected to be more than 30. Insulin should not be kept in a locked car with closed uh, windows. Uh, many people leave it in the car, and the car is very hot in this temperature. While traveling by air, the insulin should not be placed in the checked in baggage, avoiding the exposure to extreme temperature. Mostly, uh, that, 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 that's, uh, you know, if you have with in the, in the handbag, 
you can uh, uh, titrate the temperature. So it should be stored two to eight in use could be kept in the room temperature for almost four weeks at less than 30 degrees centigrade. So if uh, it's more not more than 30, it's better to keep in room temperature than putting it in a freezer or in a, a environment where you are not sure how it can work. The right way to store uh, is to, uh, the, the, the air bubbles to form in the catteries uh, when cold, the insulin to leak out of the catteries uh, when hot. So, uh, so the, never leave the needle attached to the pen, which most of our patients don't practice. They, 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 they keep the pen as such. You know, take out the needle and leaking pre-mixed insulin can rearrange the mix, mixture ration. This can lead to incorrect mixture and dosing. It's important to prevent the entry of the air and the other contaminant in the catteries. So ask your patient that the whole box with the pain and needle can be put separate to be used to uh, put in the refrigerator. Storage, the humidity, the wet conditions in the dry eyes, different, no special requirements in the humidity, but light, protect insulin from the direct sunlight and, and strong artificial light. Wet conditions, the products from the wet conditions such as rain, split, and the snow protect. The orientation, follow arrows or any other marks that are indicated to correct orientation. Never send or keep insulin products together with the uh, dry ice. And then the syringes and the vials, the components of an insulin syringe, you know, the needle cell, the needle, the barrel, and the plunger. And plunger cap is also there. Ask the patient who are using the to put the plunger cap both ways, it should be locked. So, insulin vials should be taken out from the refrigerator 30 minutes prior to the injection to ensure that the insulin is at the room temperature. Many of your patients don't practice. So, syringe sizes are different. You know, 100 IU and the 40 IU syringes are different. U100 should be uh, used with U100 uh, syringes, have an orange cover and the black scale marking denoting two units each. You can see this. And 40 units, it should be used with 40 IU, have a red cover and red scale marking denoting uh, each unit. So ensure that the syringe matches the of the vial that you're using. This is color coded. So which device to choose? The biomedical factors, psychological factors, environmental factors, pragmatic factors, medications, counseling factors, all has to be considered. Factors to be considered prescribing in, in uh, delivery device and the devices are there for your demonstrations and personally you have to take this the vials and syringes you know the less accurate dosing in risk of hypoglycemia lower compliance and poor control more injection pain and the embarrassment public so the the complicated the time and the error prone the pain device has a lot of advantage Resulting in improved adherence to the patient and lesser diabetes related treatment cost over the long run. The common idea that the vials are the more affordable doesn't hold good in the long run. We have to talk to the, our patients to switching uh, over to the pen devices. So the hypoglycemia, I'm not going to the details. All of you know uh, how to detect. And then the acute uh, hypoglycemia patient is on treatment and advice and follow up time of initiation regarding the benefits, the injection technique, first injection should be in the clinic. I told, I give first one simple and straightforward instructions, discussion regarding hypo must be there and weight gain and daily management will be there. And, and, and it must follow up, you must timely, proactive follow up is a critical success. One day to two weeks, you have to call the patient, discuss concerns, issues of the treatment, review SMBG logbook, injection technique and begin the continued titration. So, uh, thank you for the time. And these are all practical points that I wanted to tell you. And I uh, request uh, the chairperson to decide about the station visit.